Hey guys, Mike the Cop here. Earlier this month in Oklahoma, three teenagers decided to put on masks and gloves and break into someone's house. As it turns out, someone was in that home. And as it turns out, the loud crashing noise of someone breaking in woke them up. And as it turns out, they had an AR-15. And as it turns out, they didn't like seeing three people in their hallway with masks and gloves, brass knuckles, and a knife. And as it turns out, he shot and killed them. Shocking, I know. Now I'm not making this video to glorify violence or to just gloat about the death of someone. My point is that when you break into someone's home with weapons, you're gonna have to expect some possible consequences. But what caught my attention about this story recently is that the grandfather of one of the deceased criminals is now condemning the victim inside the home for his actions in defending himself from armed home invaders. Take a look. What these three boys did was stupid. Uh, yeah. They knew they could be punished for it, but they did not deserve to die. Because you were, you were there and you understand what the victim felt? Redfern, 19-year-old Maxwell Cook, and 16-year-old Jake Woodruff were shot by the homeowner's son while breaking into the Wagner County house on Monday. Shoemaker says his grandson didn't have a chance. The 17-year-old, he says, never got into trouble. By never getting in trouble, I assume you mean not until he decided to put on a mask and gloves, break into someone's house, and arm himself with brass knuckles. Brass knuckles against an AR-15, Come on, who was afraid for their life? I don't know, I mean, it's possible that maybe the, the victim who woke up to the sound of three people breaking into the house, they, they might have feared for their life. I mean, have you ever been punched in the skull with brass knuckles? Oh, and, and don't forget about the knife. You ever been stabbed? There's got to be a limit to that law. I mean, he shot all three of them. There was no need for that. Shoemaker does say he is for the right to bear arms and protect your home, but he doesn't agree with shooting and killing intruders. What? Wait. What? Now I'd like to think that I understand that it's reasonable to expect that the grandfather would be upset that he has lost his grandson, but essentially he is saying that this wasn't a fair fight. Well, don't bring brass knuckles to a gunfight. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. How, how about this? Don't break into people's houses. What kind of fair shot do you expect when you break into someone's home and you're armed? Buckshot, maybe. When you break into someone's home with a weapon and you get shot, isn't that a fair shot? Sorry, folks. Criminals don't get participation medals.